most points in Exmoor. This is Bats Castle. Um, Sunday morning, I've come up here for sunrise. The sun's just over there now, coming up over the hills. Uh, it's a beautiful place. It's an old Iron Age fort on top. Um, unfortunately, the, the information board's disappeared. Somebody's had that. Um, yesterday uh, we finally got to do, uh, it's called an Exmoor Safari, um, it's run by a lovely lady called Daphne. You get taken around in a Land Rover basically for a few hours and Daphne is Exmoor's roadmap. <laughs> she has done that job for 22 years, she knows Exmoor like the back of her hand. Um, and she mentioned yesterday it's one of the least explored national parks, uh, visitors, etc. Um, but it's it's bloody glorious. So I'm going to spend the next few trips of mine exploring it. Um, she took us to some stunning places yesterday, and yeah, just want to get out there, um, give it a good go. Normally people are scared of Exmoor because of its bleakness, but. It wasn't bleak yesterday, it was stunning. Um, sunrise, sunrise shot, a bit boring up here, got to be honest. There's nothing, there's no foreground interest. Ooh, it's a bit of a difficult one. But what it is doing, it's illuminating Dunster Castle. Um, I am quite a way away. I'm just looking for a decent spot. Um, I've got a little shot here through the trees. Turn you around. Uh, turn you around. There you go. Um, you won't see it. It's down there, sort of here. Um, the sun, the sun is just coming up over it now. Um, so it's quite beautiful. I'm going to move myself around the fort. Whoops. Not concentrating this morning, really. A couple of glasses of red last night, a couple of ciders, fuzzy head. And the walk up here <laughs> is rather strenuous. Um, it is steep. It's about half an hour of just pure climbing. Um, times Crooks Peak by about five um, at Crooks Peak steepness. Um, yeah, that's really got the heart burning this morning. I've got up here, I'm sweating my tits off and now I've just stood around and I'm getting cold. Um, it's only about two degrees up here. It is, it's stunning though. The sun's coming up over now. I've got clear blue skies. The Bristol Channel's visible. It's, yeah, it's really beautiful. It's worth the walk. It's worth coming up here for sure. Um, just, uh, just make sure you're uh, fit in the morning. Um, I'm going to move around here a bit. I might stick the big lens on in a minute and see what we can get. So, difficult this morning. Um, sort of struggling for foreground interest versus the castle. Um, keep trying. Um, turn you around a minute and show you what. So there's the castle and what we can do with the Sony is focus right in so you can pick it right out right on your focus spot. And snap from there so that, that's that's a feature I do love about this camera um, just the fact that you can zoom right in on your shot as long as you're fast enough and you've got to have it in the right mode uh, which is automatic or autofocus there's so many f focus modes on this thing it's unbelievable uh, so I've just done a focus stack 
of I'm in a bit of a clearing now of trying to get a foreground interest anymore just directly on the castle you can see the moat going around um there is really only one way to do this what I wanted to do with the sunrise um, sorry that's in my face no win situation is it um, I've done what I wanted with the sunrise it wasn't too exciting it's not really much of a foreground interest up here um, I've done some of Dunster Castle it really it really is quite quite stunning that castle and I got the sunlight coming up over it, lighting it up. So let's we'll see what they're like post-process. I'm just going to move over here. Um, I'm going to do a sort of panoramic shot. Uh, I've got a heavy, heavy cloud moving in. Um, said it wasn't going to, but it's supposed to be clear all morning. I've kept the big lens on because there is deer up here. I've had one run out on me already. Um, they've probably heard me by now, haven't they? Uh, but I keep the big lens on just in case any run out. Um, but I kind of want a panoramic shot of all the trees because it is quite colourful this morning, it really is. Um, what I'll also do is I'll put a link in this video to Daphne's uh, website. <clears throat> there is no bugger up here. Now that is either because nobody knows about it, I'm sure they do, or it is how hard the climb is. Um, I'm still sweating. So what I've got over here, um, I've got the clouds coming over, it's casting shadow over the hills, but this is being lit up by the sun. Um, so I'm gonna try and capture it all in a panoramic. Um, lead me to it back in um, a sec. So my panoramics, I like to, um, I like to figure out my shot first. I like to figure out what I want in it. Um, I'm trying to hurry up here because these clouds are moving really quick. Um, I'll focus there. Uh, currently at 35 mil f11, uh, 200 for a second. I'll focus there. I'll take the shot. 20 degrees. I'll move on the. Hold on. 
put you down there. Uh, 20 degrees, I move on here, so 210, I go to 230, and then I go to 240, and so on and so forth. And then obviously when you get home, Photoshop, Lightroom, stitch them all together, computer does its magic, boom, panoramic. Okay, so Bats Castle. Um, I'm gonna start heading back down. Uh, this cloud is thick, real thick. Um, wasn't expecting it, glad I got up here when I did, um, as hard as it was. Uh, <laughs> just be aware of that if you do plan on coming up here. It is a tough, tough climb. Um, worth it when you get to the top though, the views are beautiful. I'm done with panoramic, I'm gonna stick the big lens back on to walk back down with because there are deer about. Um, hopefully I get a couple of shots of them. Um, enjoy the video. I won't be about for a couple of weeks because it's somebody's 41st birthday um, and then I got some martial arts work to do uh, for board breaking. Um, the B Elite that my son is in, uh, they're doing a board breaking seminar um, so I'm going to be photographing that for them. Um, I might make a little vlog of it if Craig lets me. Um, we'll see, we'll ask him. Uh, give us a like. Give us a subscribe and drop a comment. Uh, go back, have a look through my old videos. Um, you know, I'm sat on top of Bats Castle and just over the peak there is Nutcoon Bottom. There's a video about Nutcoon Bottom. Uh, if you scroll further back, uh, it's got the tallest Douglas fir tree in England. Um, but yeah, I enjoy doing the content, so I'll keep it coming. Um, I'll do a bit more videos on walking down and we'll see where we go from there. See you in a minute. So I've come down a different route. Um, I caught some deer at the top. Um, this place is absolutely teeming with wildlife. It's stunning. There's nobody here. It's absolutely beautiful. There's birds everywhere. Do you know what? It's really enthusiastic and it makes me feel good. Springs in the air. You can feel it. It's cold, but you've got the sun on your back. It's beautiful, there's birds singing everywhere. And there's deer everywhere. Two at the top. Uh, so the deer, is just up there on a the ridge line. Um, they don't give a shit, they don't give a shit about me. The, um, the seven, the seven, the herd of seven I had up there, they, 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 they honestly didn't care that I was there. Um, it, obviously they went eventually, but ah, this place is fantastic. Um, there's, there's not much up the top. Um, it's very plain, it's very open. Not sure how my sunrise pictures will turn out. We'll have a look. Um, but it's teeming with wildlife. It seems like a good walk. And there's not a soul in sight, <clears throat> except for birds, ponies, and deer. Um, it's brilliant, I love it. But what you'll also get as the evenings grow out um, and get longer, um, you'll get the sunsets over Dunster Castle. So this morning I had the sunrise coming up and illuminating the castle. You'll get the sunsets behind it eventually. Uh, so that'll be a good, that'll be a good shout. Come up over that. Um, if you do come up, another mistake I made, I parked in Dunster's main car park, uh, which is fine, you know, it's only a half hour, 40 minute walk, a hard walk, might I add, um, but just as I got to, I think it's Park Park Lane, it's actually a car park there, a pay and display car park there as well, it's not a very big one, but if you get here early doors, like this morning, um, it was empty. Well, I see empty, there's a couple of cars in there. Um, so yeah, definitely come back here. And the other good thing, I'm coming down a different way. I'm coming down back down through the woodland um, and it is teeming with, I can't be asked to change my lens and do any shots. Um, I'm cold and I want to get back to the car. And I also, I want, I love deer more than I do forestry shots, um, but there is plenty of opportunities up here for brilliant, brilliant forest, forest shooting and all sorts of stuff like that. 
so yeah that would be good um so yeah absolutely brilliant location tons of opportunity um just come equipped i bought everything today i bought the osmo mobile phone camera sony and canon uh big lens normal lens um i bought i literally bought everything um it's probably why it made the climb so bigger water um that's about it i think uh just be prepared there's some there's some awesome trees here my god i bet they've seen a few things over the years uh but yeah i'm nearly at the bottom now i'm just looking up at the castle <clears throat> it's been it's been good i don't think i'm gonna to be too happy with the sunrise shots i think they're gonna be a bit boring I'll, I'll put them up best i can edit i suppose uh that's about it i think so i think i've already said it it's a like subscribe drop a comment Tell me what you think. Um, I've used mid-range settings all morning. Uh, I think the highest I went up to was a thousand ISO. That was when I was walking up. But that was six o'clock in the morning. Still dark, but I had the red light coming up. Golden hour. So I've done a couple shots there. Whether or not they'll be all right, I don't know. Um, if I'd stuck in between F7 for the sort of deer shots. I went up to F13 on the panoramic. Um, sort of hundredths of a second up to two hundredths of a second. Um, and it would appear the walk, <laughs> the walk that I've just come back down is a lot less bloody strenuous than the one I went up. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Right, I am out of here. Um, have a fantastic weekend, have a fantastic couple of weeks. Enjoy today because the weather's gorgeous. Um, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, stay safe. So just whilst I'm at the bottom, let me show you, turn you around, uh, signpost there. The Bats Castle, Bridal Way, uh, it'll, lead you, it'll lead you up this path. That's the steep, that's the tough one. All right, um, go through this gate and right. Um, it's still the bridal way and it is the less steeper route into the forest. Thank you.